I like characters who can think about God, be troubled by God, run from God, at least engage the concept and the possibilities, even if whether they, uh, wherever they land. I think that's interesting. You know, I think human beings, their natural impulse is to towards religion, and it has to be suppressed to get it out of us. And there's a lot of forces in the contemporary world that do try to suppress it, but it's, it's just there. And so to exclude it, I think, is to diminish the human experience. You know, I would love to write fiction that uh, takes religion seriously, which I think not very much contemporary literature does. If it appears at all, it's usually uh, in a cartoonish kind of way. There is a way in which writers and just people work out their life through their writing and their own questions. So I've written, you know, books that are manifestations of my own stru uh, struggles or uh, thoughts about faith and doubt. I mean, I do think I have an inner atheist, so every, every, which I don't want anybody to be frightened that I'm demon-possessed, but it's a part of my mind that when, I, when the faith part of me says, you know, I affirm this, the atheist says, well, what about that? You know, a central thesis to how I think about the world is that we are shaped by our stories, and I don't think there is a huge distinction between a literary story and a "Quote unquote real life story in, in terms of influence. In fact, if some in some ways the books we read, and the art we see, and the plays we go to might even be, because they're distilled and crafted might even be more powerful in shaping us than what happens at the 7-Eleven store. You know, engagement is art has a huge emotional component, but it's emotion and intellect together. I mean, things like curiosity are a combination of emotion and intellect that draws into stories. So the whole brain, the whole person is working in a good story, including the body. You know, we have, you know, physical reactions to stories as well as intellectual, emotional, and will, all, all impact. And that's why stories are so powerful, is because they appeal to the whole person.